Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MS Maths. In this video, I will explain a theorem related to the measure theory. Uh, before going to this theorem, uh, we should have an idea about that what is the outer measure and inner measure. So I will just discuss that if you have an uh, outer measure, then it means that outer measure denoted by this M superscript star A, it is nothing but the infimum of the length of F. And F is such that F is all open set, F is basically it is open set and uh, it is like uh, such as A contained in F. Okay, so this is the basic concept for this the outer measure and a similar manner we have inner measure like this uh, A star in the subscript that is into A that is basically supremum of length of B. Now here B is uh, the closed set and uh, uh, here B contained in A. Okay, now here A contained in B, here B contained in A. So we can write this B contained in A which is contained in F. So this is the relation between all the sets. Basically, in this case, we, we want to prove that if you have A which is subset of AB, then prove that the outer measure plus uh, inner measure of A complement is B minus A. It means it is equals to the length of this interval where complement of A is nothing but B minus A minus A. So it means A minus B, okay, it is uh, not A minus B, uh, let me clear this thing, it is B minus A or uh, it is basically the interval, I can write B minus A, okay, B minus A minus A or that interval minus A, I will write it as interval. So that is like the meaning is same that uh, A comma B, okay. So this is the complement of A. Now basically in this case we will prove that in this way the proof for this is like this. Let F be any open set such that A containing F containing A or A contained in F then the complement of F is subset of obviously if A is subset of F then complement of F is subset of complement of A. Now the inner measure of complement of A is greater than the length of complement of F. Now the basically the result is the um, result is basically the inner measure of A inner measure of A is a greater is less than the length of f in this case we are taking like we, we yeah we are using the complement of f inverse so basically m star a is greater than the length of the complement of a due to the complement property of the set okay now in this case we have okay so in this case we have um m star it is uh, like basically the inner measure so the inner measure of this is greater than this adding the length of f on both side if we have the length of n we will adding this so we'll get the length of f plus inner measure of complement of a is greater than the length of complement of f plus the length of f. So basically it will be the length of f plus inner measure of complement of a is greater than what is the length of complement of f? It is nothing but f is basically the open all all open uh, all open uh, like sets or interval basically. So it is b minus a minus length of f plus length of f. So it will get cancelled because the complement property. So the length of f plus m star the complement of a is greater than b minus a this is equation number one or we can uh, like take that in this case we will take uh, okay equation number one so taking or take infimum over the open set such that a contained in f it means we will take the infimum over this so the infimum over f or infimum over the length of f sorry infimum over the length of f plus m star complement of a is greater than b minus a 
in this case we know that the infimum of the infimum of length of f is nothing but it is outer measure so it is outer measure so it is m star a plus m star in this in inner measure of a is greater than b minus a this is equation number 2 now we will proceed to the set b which is closed so in this case we will take same similar manner in the similar manner we will consider let b be the closed set such that b contained in a and if a contained in f so b contained in a and a contained in f in the similar manner we can write here if b contain in a then the complement of a contained in the complement of b okay so the outer measure of a is less than okay the result basically what is the result the result says the outer measure of a is greater than the length of b but here we will use the complement so the outer measure of a is less than equal to the length of complement of b because we are going with the complement so it is outer measure uh, so the outer measure of a is less than equal the length of complement of b now on adding the length of b on adding the length of set b so it is length of b plus outer measure of a is less than length of complement of b plus length of b same same procedure that here we have added that uh, the length of uh, f and now we have added here the length of b so it is the length of b plus outer measure of a is less than it is nothing but b minus a minus length of b plus length of b so it is basically the length of b plus the outer measure of a is less than b minus a now same taking supremum over the closed set such that this length of a or i say b contained in complement of a or basically yeah b contained in complement of a so it it says that if i will take the supremum of length of b plus the outer measure of a is less than b minus a it is nothing but equation number 3 so it is basically the inner measure of complement of a because of that we have used here complement because this is the subset of this okay because b is subset of complement of a so in this case inner measure of complement of a plus outer measure of a less than b minus a now i say it is equation number 4 but in equation number 2 we have this result is greater than b minus a and now in equation number 4 this result is less than b minus a so we can conclude by equation number 2 and 4 the inner measure the uh, or you can write the outer measure of a plus the inner measure of complement of a is equals to b minus a okay so this is the proof of this theorem now the result based on this theorem is basically a necessary and sufficient condition for a set to be measurable set is that each epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a open set f which contains a it means a containing in f and the closed set b which contain in a it means b contained in a such that this and 
the measure of f minus measure of b less than f so the basically first of all we have we have to know about that how um, the like what is the measurable set the measurable set is that when the outer measure of a is equals to inner measure of a so we'll combinedly denote this as measure of a now it says that if a set the necessary and sufficient condition for a set to be a measurable set it says that the measure of f minus measure of b is less than epsilon where epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a open set okay there exists a open set f f is a open set such that a contained in f and what is b b is closed set such that b contained in a it means after all a sorry b contained in a and a contained in f so after that the measure of f minus measure of b should great should less than epsilon then this result will satisfy same as if you have two sets a1 a2 are subsets of this interval then the outer measure of a it says that it says that this results this result says that the outer measure of a1 plus inner measure of a2 is greater than inner measure of a1 union a2 plus outer sorry yeah both outer measure of a1 union a2 and outer measure of a1 intersection a2 in the similar manner if inner measure of a1 plus inner measure of a2 is less than equal inner measure of a1 union a2 plus inner measure of a1 intersection a2 these both are the result there is a small correction that this is not wait this is not outer measure okay this is not inner measure sorry this is not inner measure here this is outer measure it means both the the outer measure of both the set the sum of outer measure of both the set is greater than the sum of union outer measure of union and outer measure of intersection is greater than and similarly we can say that the sum of inner measure of both the set is less than the sum of inner measure of union of both the set and intersection of both the set so this is the concept of this theorem i hope you got this theorem so thanks for watching my video keep watching ms maths and this is the theorem thank you bye bye